Is that better? <laughs> if I'd switch the microphone on, we would be fine, wouldn't we? Um, right, so um, I hope you can hear me now. I'm sure you can. Welcome to the Lizzie Curtis Facebook page. Um, hopefully we've got people here from YouTube as well. And uh, I don't know if we have. I, I haven't had my notification. So I'd like to think that we, we're going to have um, people from YouTube, but we'll, we'll see. See what happens. If not, I'll share it there later. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that false start. It helps if I switch the microphone on. And um, yeah, so it was, it's really just a quick Facebook Live. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I've got two shows tomorrow on Create and Craft TV, which I'm really looking forward to. One is at 7.30, okay? And nine is at, one is at 9.45, so that, that's a little bit more sociable. So if you're still in bed um, at half past seven, which I always wish I was. Um, you, if you're still in bed and you're fast asleep, hurrah. If not, I'll see you then. Uh, but I'll certainly see you at 9.45 and we'll see um, what stock we have. Oh, we have got YouTube here. Um, see what stock we've got and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have enough to last. The trouble is, uh, I know what you guys are like and I know you're going to clear the shelves and that's OK because you're going to absolutely want these. So I'm, I'm not going to muck about because I can see you're all here. We've got, there's no, over 200 of you between Facebook and YouTube. So on um, YouTube, you'll, maybe you'll have already seen this picture, but this is what it's all about. There are another load of stuff to my right here that I really want to show you as well. OK, so um, I will talk to you about these. And then I'm going to talk to you about this other because they go together. All right. They go together and you're going to be blown away. Now, these came to me about I'd say about four weeks ago and um, they were sitting on the side of my, my workroom. I've got a shelf where I put new product or things that I need to look at and spend a bit of time on. And so they were sitting there for a, for a good fortnight. Well, I hadn't opened them. I hadn't looked at them. It says it says on here, mini patchwork template. So I thought, oh, OK, they're, they're going to be something like, you know, like a plastic, like a mylar that you're going to be able to draw around and things like that. So I thought, oh, well, that'd be nice. That'd be a nice addition to the to the range, and that and that'd be nice for me to to launch them tomorrow. And I should look forward to that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all going through my head. And I was thinking, you know, um, I'm not technically a patchworker and quilter. I dabble like a lot of us do, but I don't. Um, it's not a serious thing of mine. So I thought, well, any help is always good. And if you're not into die cutting, which I know some of you are not into die cutting, um, these templates would be quite handy, wouldn't they? Well, let me just tell you guys, <laughs> I gave my admin team on my goal group and my Making It Monday group a sneaky peek of these because we had a bit of a Zoom. We've, it's our birthday week next week. Um, in the gold club and we had a zoom meeting and i said to the guys look do you want to see what i'm going to launch in a couple of weeks but you mustn't tell anybody and i can trust them they're really good so they said yes please would it why are you asking us <laughs> so i said okay so i got these off the shelf i came and sat down i opened them up and i was blown away so i'm going to do the same with you this is the packaging this is what it looks like on the back nothing very exciting going on you wait you wait so i'm taking these out now there's a little booklet that comes with it i'm going to hope that they don't fall off they shouldn't do but oh there's one already come out so i'll leave that off for the moment so this is what they are now you just have a little look at those these are acrylic templates right um i was absolutely blown away it's not like they're something that's never been invented before nothing like that not at all I'm not saying that these are have never been seen before what i'm saying is you're getting 12. there's also another little secret formula with these as well so there you go have a look i'll put them on the side camera in a minute so you can have a proper look at them and they're not hugely expensive. You know as well as I do that when you tune in tomorrow, there is bound to be a deal. OK, so if you can hold off till tomorrow. Firstly, I want to go in and have a show. 
secondly, there might well be a deal that's perhaps not there at the moment. OK, so I'm just giving you a bit of a heads up with that. But I was absolutely blown away by these. Now, I'm going to I'm going to quickly show you on the side camera because this this definitely needs a little bit more than what I'm showing you. Look, you can see. So you can, I'm, I'm deliberately shining them because you can see that they are acrylic templates. They are proper ruler quality, let's say, templates. They're quite thick as well. So if I take one out, you can see they're quite thick. Let me just move all my gubbins. So you can see they're quite thick. There's a, look, you can see there's a bit of a depth to them. There's a, obviously a reason why. There's a lot of information on them as well. Look, we, um, let's put it back in there because that makes sense. Um, there's a lot of information on there. First of all, it tells you what size they are. Two and a half. <laughs> Clue there, guys. Um, they've also got little holes in each of the corners and that's to put your pen through so you can mark, um, you know, you know uh, mark through so that's the end of your seam allowance. Sorry, I'm, I'm just looking at the comments. <laughs> and then there's a hole there. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. So in here, and I'm going to read it off the back of what you've got. OK, sorry, I'm flashing. Let me put the other ones up so you can see while I'm while I'm reading. Um, let's try and get it not to flash. There we go. You've got a tumbler, honeycomb, hexagon, 45 degree diamond, a jewel shape, half square triangle, quarter square triangle, half hexagon, equilateral triangle, half rectangle triangle and a 60 degree diamond. That's what you've got. You've got 12 of these. 12. That's one reason why I was blown away. Your, the, amount, the quantity you're getting. OK. The other thing is how these are going to work for you. So let me just take you back to the front again. If that makes any sense whatsoever. So in the actual little envelope, which is pretty nondescript, isn't it? I really, truly thought they was, these were going to be like a mylar. You know what I'm talking about? Like a stencil material, thin, you'd have to draw around. That's truly what I thought I was opening, because that doesn't tell me straight away with that first glance, because you know we don't read anything, that there's these acrylic templates in there. My goodness me. Like little mini rulers. Anyway, in the actual pamphlet, which is quite comprehensive, it shows, I know you can't see this very well, but you will get a better angle tomorrow. Um, you can see that they don't just give you the templates, but they actually give you instructions on how to use them on the front that tells you inside different designs that you can create using the different shapes and page three also some different designs using the shapes. Now, the, the, the world is your lobster, really, with this, because there's so many different variations on these um, these shapes. You've only got to look at some of the patchwork designs out there. You could emulate that. Now, they are mini for obvious reasons. We're going to come on to the second fantastic piece of information, OK, which is they are all and, and think about what I'm telling you here. <laughs> they are all two and a half inches wide. So what do you think that means? Any idea? I'll let you come up with some ideas before I tell you, because two and a half inches wide is actually quite a popular width. Can you think why that is a popular width? <laughs> I'm just waiting for your um, for your comments to catch up with me. I'm hoping that you're you're still all there. <laughs> oh, you got it. You have got it. First of all, scraps. OK, first of all, scraps. I've only got to go into my little Ava pouch here, which is always here to look at pieces of fabric that I'm throwing away. I'm sorry that could be used for these templates straight away scraps without a shadow of a doubt. Let me just bring these in. Now, I don't want you to I don't want you to start crying because, you know, your bank balance is going to suffer. Right. So let me bring in the first thing. There are other things on the show, but 
this is the first thing. <laughs> this is a bundle of 15 fat quarters in all of your plain colours. They're all plain. They're covered in bits. There's a reason why. But this is one of the bundles, right, of all the colours that's available as a little bundle. Fat quarters, okay? And all of these, plus a black and white, are available on half meters so you can order by a half meter but you get continuous lengths okay now you need these in your stash first of all you've got all those tones secondly we all need planes right and it's of quality quilting cotton so it's top rate i have waited so long for crafter's companion to bring out plain cotton and here it is but that's not all that's not all. I'm going to do this so you can see. I'm going to bring it back. Can you see? I know. It's not very often you'll hear me go silent. What do you reckon to that? Now, all of those templates fit these without a shadow of a doubt. I've only cut a few, can I tell you why? Because I know they're gonna work. I have no need to do hours and hours and days and days and weeks and weeks of preparation here because I know each one of those templates will fit one of these. Now, how about that? So you've got, I'm gonna try and say what the colors are. We've got Marvelous Merlot, We've got Brilliant Blues, three tones in each, three tones. You've got Glorious Greens, I love that. You've got Ocean Waves, beautiful. And you've got Pretty Pinks, Pretty Pinks. Now there is a deal tomorrow, I know, with the Pretty Pink. So watch out for that. So what do you, what do you reckon? Okay, you got this. There is other things, there are other things. Okay, there are, all of these fabrics are by the meter and, and quite honestly, uh, fat quarters are really nice, but I, was, I would always buy a half a meter. I really would truly, hand on heart, not telling you a fib, I would always buy half a meter. Fat quarters are lovely, absolutely gorgeous. And if that's in your budget, then get that. I would go for the half meters, but there we are. And you get black and white as well, okay? But not in this bundle, separately. Putting the pinks together. Oh my gosh, do you wanna see some samples? <laughs> in fact, all of these samples have been muddled up with the colors pretty much. Some of them are, some of them are. So let's have a look. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how much this pleases me. There's some things that tick your box and there's some things that absolutely strike a chord. That's a bag look. Look at that. Look at those tones. See how those tones work? Do you know what? I, tomorrow when I turn up for TV, I'm just going to stand at the counter and just stack them up like this. Have the, the templates, you know, behind me somewhere, you know, so you can see them. I'm just going to hold these up because this is what you can create. Look at this. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm not doing this justice. But we're only at home, so, you, you know, you've got to understand that. This, this has all been hand quilted. Who made this? I bet I haven't got a name. Oh, I've got a name. Sue. Sue, you are amazing. Because you've hand quilted this and there's not many people that do that these days. Usually, oh, everything is bunged under the machine. And that's not always how we should look at that. Oh my God. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, for goodness sake, look at that. Oh, 
I have to look in the camera so I can see as well because I'm not seeing them. I'm only seeing the back of them. So this is this is <laughs> this was made by Stephen, and I posted this on my my Facebook page, and I said, Stephen, this is not coming home. I'm ever so sorry. I'm keeping it, which of course I'm not going to. <sighs> And he said, yes, of course, keep it. I thought, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Look at that. And the quilting on that is all little circles. I don't know if you can see it. We'll see it tomorrow better. And the last one is this gorgeous cushion. Look at that. I just want you to know that this is possible for you to make. All of these are possible for you to make because you've got the tools here. You've got the templates. I'm assuming you've got a rotary cutter. An actual fact, if you haven't got a rotary cutter, use scissors. Um, and you'll have a sewing machine. So that kind of, you know, there's no excuse now, is there? <laughs> so I did a little bit of stitching this afternoon. <laughs> That's my effort. And I have to be brutally honest with you. This isn't those fabrics because they sent me these and there was no way I was going to open these until I'd shown you them all in a jelly roll or design roll, I should say. So I kind of picked up close colours to the pink <laughs> and I stitched this because I just wanted to know that, that it works. You can look at the back if you like. It's not bad. Oh, yes, there are times when I get things really nice. But... um. I just wanted you to see that everything is possible. And I also wanted you to see the size of something that will make up. Um, and this little pattern is actually in the booklet. So you can, uh, I love this. Do you know what you could actually make if you, I'm not suggesting for a minute that you get all of those colors, okay? But if you did, you could make up blocks with two, two, two of those tones. You could use maybe the third one as sashing, binding, blah, de, blah, de, blah, blah. Um, and you could have a whole quilt of the this design uh, in the two t two tones. I think that would look stunning, don't you? Yeah, that's my efforts. <laughs> Only because I couldn't, I didn't want to open these. Do you want to see how it works? The other thing is, all of these will fit into a, a, a book ring. Can you see? One of these clips, is, this is a bit stiff. My friend Rosella sent me this. It's a bit stiff, Rosella. Um, <laughs> I might have to oil it. And you can slip all of these onto one of these rings. Do you see? Hard to see because they're see-through, aren't they? So you can see what that looks like. But all of them will fit on there, no bother at all. Because obviously after a while, these this is like a stiff, a really quite stiff card that they're on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, after a while, they'll, 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 it'll become annoying to put them in and out. I'm going to get covered in bits now because they're, cause they're design rolls. You've got the, the ziggy zaggy bits. So let's pop that there. There we go. Right. OK, so do you want to see them being cut? I will do that. Let's just clear the decks a little bit. So I'll take you on to my side view. Let's just do that. There we go. And just get me gubbins out of the way. And what I'll do is I'll put them there so you can see them while I'm cutting. So tell me which one, which colourway do you want me to open? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to open any of them, to be honest. But you tell me. We've got the blues, the greens, the merlot. The pinks and the ocean colours. Shall we? Um, green. Teresa says green. Jackie says sea breeze. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Ocean blue. Oh, there's lots. Uh, there's lots. Oh, green. Uh, green. Ocean. All oh, right, I'm going to have to make, make my own mind up. Um, these are the ocean. I'm going to go ocean. I'm going to go ocean. So I just want you to admire those because <laughs> you can see, right, I'm opening up the ocean, guys. <laughs> I don't want any fighting in the comments now. To be honest, all of them will be open by tomorrow and, and on the set at, uh, at TV Land, they'll all be beautifully neat like this and uh, I'll have mine open. 
So there's my, my templates. Okay, which template? Which template? I'll read them out to you because we've got 12. We've got Tumblr, Honeycomb, Hexagon, Diamond, Jewel, Square, Half Square Triangles, Gold Square Triangles, Half Hexagon, Equilateral Triangle, Half Rectangle Triangle and 60 Degree Diamond. Well, there's a lot to choose from, isn't there? Somebody said Ocean, Ocean. Lorna, Laura, Lorna. <laughs> So um, obviously with a design role, it's always a shame to open it, but you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to open it up. Hexagon, hexagon, tumbler, honeycomb, hexagon, hexagon, jewel, diamond. Oh, well, well, we'll do a few of each, shall we? We'll do a few of each. So um, I would suggest, look, it's, this is going to be now up to you, but I'm going to take three of the same, the, you know, three, the, the trilogy of colours, yeah? Might as well. So I'll take one lot out. This lot can go over here. And I would say three layers is, is probably enough. So I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, just for ease. I'm going to cut these in half. Don't cry, anybody. Just don't cry. I have to do this. It's like being a surgeon. You have to cut into something. <laughs> well, it's not like a surgeon. Crikey. What a terrible thing to say. I can't, I can't bear a little cut. Never mind anything else. So let's just split these up. Because it's just easier, isn't it? Because it's got to be done quick for you guys. So let's put those three away. Now, the great thing about a design roll is that they are actually just slightly wider than a two and a half inch because of the zigzag. So you'll, you can trim this away, you can trim it away. You can also, because we've got the light colour on top, I'll just look, get them lined up, which not too bad. What you can do, let me just find my pens, here we go. What you can do is take one of these, I'll just take the half square triangle for just for a moment and you can pop it on your fabric. Obviously, I just cut that by hand on that end there. So I would actually um, draw that. So you could draw around your shape. OK, if, if my pen worked. And you could cut that away with scissors. I know that's hard to see, but you could cut that with scissors if you wanted to. If you're cutting with scissors, either put a pin through that to hold all the layers together or cut one layer at a time because they'll move. So, but what we're going to do is, what did you say we're going to do? What, what, what shape was it? Oh, I said I was going to cut a few, didn't I? OK, so look, straight away you can see Let's do, let's put a few on there so you can see. I've got, I need a bigger desk. There we go. So there's my half square triangle. Um, there's my honeycomb and that can be butt up to that if we like. There's my tumbler on there. Um, there's my quarter square triangle. Now, don't forget, you're going to say, oh, but you're, well, you've got waist. Well, yeah, of course I have, because I'm cutting, I've got different shapes on here, OK? Normally, you would have, you would be cutting the same shape and they kind of nest into each other. Some do, some do more than others. Right, 60 degree um, uh, diamond just goes there. I'm hoping you can see all this. Um, and let's say the jewel one. Let's just move that along a little bit. The jewel one sits in there. So uh, hopefully you can see that and you can see that all of them <laughs> are sitting in that two and a half inch strip. So absolutely fantastic. I mean, you've got 12 and they all fit. <laughs> There's nothing. You know, I could take one away and put this little one in. This is the half rectangle triangle and that fits. Do you see? So uh, any, take another one away, put the diamond in. I'm going to have them all out now, look. They're all fitting. It, that can go right up to that if I wanted to. Then you've got the equilateral triangle. And now I know you're going to, don't say there's waste. Of course there's waste because I'm using different shapes. So don't, don't tell me there's waste. Because when we come to cut them, you'll see that there's hardly any waste at all. Hexagon, let's take these away. Obviously, we've got the little square and that goes on there, obviously, absolutely perfectly. And the last one is the half, um, half hexy and that goes there. 
so you can see how they all um, fit perfectly onto a two and a half inch strip. Not only are you going to be doing it with all of these, but you can cut those into two and a half inch strips. You can cut your scraps into two and a half inch strips. It doesn't matter. They are going to fit perfectly. So for instance, let's, I can't remember what, what shapes you said, but if let's just say, because I've got so many now, the honeycomb, I and mean, that's quite a lot of cutting because well even if even if it wasn't a template it would still be a lot of cutting so there's your <laughs> I've, got, I've got a little I've got to put all these back ladies and gents I've got to put all these back <laughs> so even with that um, hexi you're going to think well that's difficult to cut well yeah I suppose I'm going to have to stand up to get some pressure I'm sorry if I disappear off your, <laughs> off your screen at the bottom there. But I want you to hold this down nicely. You could get some of our stick and stay, which um, will actually keep your template very much in place. I also want you to consider getting yourself a rotating cutting mat because obviously we don't want any accidents at all. So I should be taking mine into, into work tomorrow. So that's cut my 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 shape but i need to take my little um zigzags off my, my, you know because they're all um pinked aren't they the edges so there we are so there is three there's my pen mark so there's my three perfect pieces of hexagon all beautifully cut like i say you, you want to be careful of your fingers because they're quite small but they are perfectly cut. So let's put that 60 degree, degree, I can't speak, 60 degree diamond on there. I'm just putting two fingers on there to hold. Just going across, you can see that I'm pushing that away. That's all my scrap. Let me try and do it at an angle that you can see. Position that back down again. I'm going to run along my, my zigzags, my pinked edges. Um, like I said, a rotating mat would be very good for this, but just be careful and you'll be fine. So there again is our next shape perfectly cut. So let's choose another one, uh, equilateral triangle. I'll tell you what's a good one. I'll, I'll do that in a minute, but we've got the quarter square triangle here and they all have, they all have the dog ears cut off. Can you see? Don't know how easy it is for you to see that. Oh, there we are. You've got the dog ears cut off at the ends there. So where appropriate, and I'm going to flip that because do you see that angle? That will fit nicely with my shape. Not perfectly, but nicely. So again, there we go. We've got that sitting beautifully on there. So I'm just going to cut up a little way, cut across up to the top, cut the top, down the side, this is if we have a rotating mat, but I'm just going to swivel myself around, cut up there and cut away my zigzagged edges. And there we are. There's our quarter square triangle, beautifully cut, always. Even if you catch some of those little pinked bits there, you know, the pink, the zigzag parts there, that's part of your quarter of an inch seam allowance. So you mustn't worry about that. So what else? What other shape? Um, Equilateral triangle. So I'll flip that back over this time because that suits me better. Try and keep, if you are doing layers, try and keep your layers together. So um, equilateral triangle again, we'll just cut off the little zigzags, cut along there, just keep my hand well and away from the blade, cut along there, up and across. And there we have our perfect equilateral triangle. And I've got three layers. You don't have to cut three layers, but you can if you want to. Now, um, the other thing you can do, like I said, is, and I can sit down for this, <laughs> is to draw around. So for instance, um, let's use, uh, well, I've used that before. Let's use, I don't know. Oh, um, the half square triangle, because that sits quite nicely. That sits kind of square on it. It's quite nice. So again, we'll just do a line and a line across the top, come down the side, uh, across, and as long as we haven't moved it, across there. Now I can see that pen mark, you may not be able to. I'll just get my big scissors. Again, I put a, a pin in those layers there just to hold them in place. 
so they don't move because layers do move. So using my big scissors, I've drawn around and just going to trim my little pinked edges off. And there we have the perfect um, half square triangle there. And I've drawn around it. So you don't have to use your rotary cutter, but I want you to be careful because they are small and I don't want your fingers to get in the way. So, but the other thing you could do is that you could use your smaller blade. So for instance, um, this is a, that's a 45 mil is what we tend to use, isn't it? But um, let's just get my bits out of the way. But you could use your 28 mil, which is obviously a lot smaller. So a tumbler shape, easiest shape in the world. I, I actually quite like the tumbler shape. Um, because I think it, it, it's a bit more interesting than a square. But you can use your smaller blade to cut through. And again, if you had a turntable, you could turn it so it sits nicely. So you're always cutting away. Make sure it hasn't moved. Cutting away. And I must remember to take that turntable because it is going to be very useful tomorrow. Go slowly. Take your time, there's no rush, and there's our tumbler cut. That's, I've done three layers, but you don't have to. Some is saying, oh, could you use these for crumb quilting? Well, um, crumb quilting really is about using up uh, your scraps, and of course they can be different sizes. Um, they tend to be strips, they tend to, or they can be like a bit like crazy patchwork. So crumb quilting, um, well, you're going to end up making a piece of patchwork, aren't you? So in a, in a specific shape. So I would say I wouldn't call it crumb quilting. I'd perhaps call it crazy patchwork because you could use, go into your scrap box and find all the map pieces of planes, of stripes, of spots, a bit of cafe, a um, bit of moda, you know, all of those lovely brands that we love. You could go in and you could just cut, 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 cut and create a really random design. Can you get in the, in the USA? Yes, you can get it in the USA. You'd have to go through the, I think, I don't know if you can order it from Create and Craft, but I know you can order straight from Crafter's Companion. So let me just find my mouse, which is lost. Let's go back to the front because obviously... Um, you don't want to see just my plain desk with bits on it. So what do you think? What do you think? So you're getting the 12 templates. You're getting a four page instruction booklet. The first page is on how you would go about cutting them. And the second, third and fourth pages are on designs that you can copy yourself or at least start to get a feel on how you're going to put them together. Um, you could use them like an applique. You don't have to stitch them together like um, patchwork. You could just lay them side by side and you could glue them down with a heat and bond, bond web, that sort of thing. And you could actually applique them onto something. So um, it doesn't always have to be about patchwork. Um, so there's great information in there. So please don't throw that away. Keep that safe. By all means, get yourself one of these little um, book rings. The, these are quite stiff. In fact, I can't get that one open, which is the one I had open. This one here, because all of these will fit very comfortably onto this ring, which means that you can hang this from somewhere and you're not going to lose them. I, th I think having them on the card initially may be a good idea because you can see them all at a glance. You can see which ones you've got. But I mean, if you cut out the front of that with all the shapes on and what they're called, then you'll, you'll have that as your bit of your library and you could, you could make a hole in that and stick that on there as well. You don't have to, you know, abide by the rules, so to speak. So there we are. So that's all your shapes on there, 12 shapes, plus you've got your, your fabric. So you've got the fantastic uh, fat quarter bundle. Isn't it gorgeous? Looks like a, a lovely uh, uh, rainbow, doesn't it? And then you've got the fantastic design rolls as well. And you can see the potential of them. When, when we looked at the quilts before, and I won't, I won't bring them up again, but you've seen those quilts, you've seen how dramatic they look. They are fabulous. And the design team for Softcraft at Crafters Companion have done the most amazing job in putting those together. Um, so 
please um, watch me. Where do you get the rings? Amazon. Rosella sent me these, my friend, but Amazon. <laughs> I don't know where you get book rings from. Look on Amazon. Um, but um, so tomorrow I will be on Create and Craft at 7.30 and 9.45. Um, I strongly suggest if you can possibly wait, wait until the Crane Crafts, the program starts or just before, whenever, because there's going to be a deal. There's always a deal. And I know there is a deal with the pink um, design role. Um, failing that, they, of course, you can always get them from Crafters Companion. So there are multiple ways in which to pick these up. If you're not a patchworker, these might be the time that that's going to sort of turn you into an interested kind of patchworker. They're nothing complicated about them. Nothing that I can think of. These are going to be a really, really useful addition to your crafting stash. I think they're fantastic. So much so that I have bought all of my admin team for the Gold Group a set of these as a thank you because we've got birthday week next week and it's going to be mad. So um, I've bought them all a set as a gift because I know all of them will love it. And that, that really is something when I say that. So there we are. That's me done. I didn't want to spend too too much too much time on here and I've already taken up 40 minutes of your time and I've got to put these all back and pack my car. So I'll see you in the morning at 7.30 or 9.45 and I hope you have a wonderful day and, uh, and, and the rest of your weekend is equally as gorgeous. So I'll see you all again.